So, if you have the, all of a sudden, you have to look at things through the, the historical picture on a certain time frames. You have points in that, certain, that you can reference to that you know, dates and history and stuff like that. So if you say the 1800s, what happened in the 1800s? Um, loads of stuff. You say the 70s, well, you have one or two particular things that sticks to your head. That's how you start to read history and you can keep, keep a subconscious map of it. Everything goes in subconsciously. I'm not even taking in information that I don't want to forget. Sometimes I look at it through the corner of my eye. I look at it sideways. Because then you remember it for some reason. And I look at it straight, obviously, but sometimes I look at it through the corner. So basically what I'm looking at, we're looking at a spike in the population, the human population. In the space of 10, 20 years, it went from 5, 6 billion to 7, 8 billion, whatever it is now. So therefore, Right now, at this moment of time, we have a bigger population. There's more blood on the earth now than there ever was. There's quite a big, there's quite a lot of people to go to. If we was um, Simon and the Adrenal Clan, what what they do is they drink blood. Simon is the guy from Axe. He existed before time and a long time. And he ran the Maya, the Sumerian, the Mesopotamians, and probably the Babylonian Empire as well. He might have another name called Madoc, and actually, he has hundreds of names. He's been around for a very long time, these people. And the sorcerers. So Simon existed a far time. So I'm wondering how many other people exist in a far time. Linked to Simon and the Adrenal Clan are actually in the far time and how, how many of them are gonna turn up here because it looks like they're gearing up for a party they're gonna get drunk on adrenal blood and they're gonna worship spirits and have sex orgies and sacrifice animals and all sorts of shit they're gonna terrorize people till they till they're frozen with fear and then drink their blood all of Simon's temples are ready. He can go for a while. You can imagine, the, say the, the, the seven year period, the tribulation is called where the abomination that makes desolation makes war on the human race. He, look how many people do they allege Hitler killed in the concentration, Hitler didn't kill him, the German Nazi party killed in the concentration camps. Um, who knows but the thing is all of them pyramids are fixed up the internet is riddled with stories of people drinking adrenaline blood multi-billionaire what, what, what's that guy's name uh, that just got nicked recently the billionaire he got nicked for molesting young girls that's what i'm talking about taboos that's one, that's probably the worst taboo in my house and my family is to touch a child. In, in certain families, that's the norm. That's been going on for generations. They're generational sinners. They're generational breeders, they're called. They breed Satan's children, Simon's crew. And they do all Simon's crew stuff. And a lot of them are, and then they batter their kids and tell them they're not in the book of life anymore and stuff like that. Like, battered them and raped them and all that stuff so these are what we had to worry about this is what you have to give heed to I mean, I've been hopping off these fuckers for years with some people over in London and they just keep coming and here's the thing they have a bit of backup as well that we can't fully explain but we, our backup is better than their backup of course we have the Lord Jesus Christ they are nothing but what I'm saying is, think about it rationally and try and paint a picture of why all of a sudden is the international community riddled with people, not riddled with certain individuals in the international community. It's well documented that are involved in the occult and adrenalized drink, blood drinking. 
that's a fact. It's not only in the um, poli it's not only in politics. It's everywhere. But it's linked to um, big business, po politics, banking, stuff like that. They run another country. So Mayor Rothschild said, what did he say? Oh, one of the Rothschilds said, give me control of a, fine, of a country's finances and I care not who governs its country. Now that's the sort of attitude that's been governing the earth since the banking thing came in. Say around about sort of when they whacked the Templars. They killed the Knights Templar on Friday the 13th. The French King and the Pope got done a purge of the Knights Templars. They had a banking system, but since then the banking system has had a mafia sort of, and they've run it and they call it Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and all this. But there's other people as well. They just get the blame. They're just a the little. Um, these these things are all linked into. These are not good governance. These countries run by bankings and finances, and that's all they talk about. And the people who run them banks and own them banks give me control of a country's finance, and I care not who governs its country. Now, if he's linked into Simon, you're in big trouble. Well, we're in big trouble, but what's going on? Why, why is the population after exploding exponentially to a, a larger amount than it has been in any? recorded time in human history and why of a sudden have we got more pyramids which function is solely for the brutalization torture rape violation murder and <coughs> of human beings why have they fixed up most of them why are they all fixed up now they removed every single cultural indigenous taboo on the pyramid so even Tilton Carmoon's course is famous don't go near the tomb of Tilton loads of people opened up these tombs and read it before the album that they not enter the end of this place is such a course will get you and they all fucking died and it's documented when they died the next day or something but they died in a relatively short time period that's a course now that's a cultural taboo. You get warned about it. We get warned about it. When they were doing, we was doing the protests up here in 2006 and seven and eight or seven and eight or something like that. Annoying. Whatever was, they were doing. Uh, they, they were digging up all the dolmens and all the old Hebrew altars. The Catholic Church actually at attacked, sanctioned. The, the Catholic Church were behind it for all real and. The Viking and the, they were all in on it because we were looking for the Ark of the Covenant as well on the sly but, and store, some other stuff. But um, what they done is they um, they dug up all the dolmens. Now they're the ones mentioned in the Bible, you should not live the till upon a stone. They're, the, they're the, the, the sanctioned places to dance and sing and have festivals. So they just went around and started digging everything up and wrecking everything sawing down trees they didn't need to cut down reckon the place was it was a battleground for a while not major but um what they done is they had to bring foreigners in to dig them a lot to put on the diggers because the Irish wouldn't dig up the the, the Irish there's a, a tradition it's not known to everybody now in Ireland is that you don't touch the stones or the graves you don't go near them, you stay away from them. It's the same in all the countries where these things... Our, our stones in, in this country, and the, we, our stones are not contaminated like, like the, the ones in the pyramids. The stone, standing stones of this country, they were just dragged along the road, dragged along and, and then st stood up straight. They didn't touch them with anything. If you touch it with anything, start chiseling it in any way, shape or form, you've polluted it, you have to get a new stone. So the Lord is, <coughs> when you make an altar to him, do not touch it with a till upon a stone, a hewn stone, and don't put steps going up the side. You see our nakedness, and obviously don't make it to another God. So that means just basically you're not allowed to have steps. All the pyramids in, well most of the pyramids are step pyramids, in some shape or form. 
So everything about them runs contrary to biblical law, but the stones in this country, they were just stood up like st on top of one another. That's where you're supposed to dance. Now, I was thinking in the, in the, in the not too distant future, we should find a nice town somewhere that's really run down on a need in the middle of nowhere and no one fucking goes near it and get all the people to throw the stones from one place to the next to the next stand up the stones in the Hebrew fashion and then have a festival there every year with the rest